Uh, there was another big headline this week uh, for Tata Martino, who was down in Argentina. Guys, I don't know if, if you caught this. I'm sure you did. He was spotted in Argentina watching a Newell's <laughs> versus racing game where he was photographed with Argentina manager Lionel Scaloni. Uh, those two, of course, will face off in the group phase at the World Cup. It set off quite a reaction from the Mexican press, many of whom thought Tata should be in Mexico watching Liga Mekis or, or something. Uh, Mao, is this something, nothing, or everything? This is everything because it just proves the point that I've been making on Football Americas for the last year and a half. Gerardo Martino doesn't really care what happens with the Mexican national mm. team. He's making a lot of this, well, the, the real ones, these are fake, of course, <laughs> but he's making a lot of money. And that's the only reason why he's still a part of this team. He, he, he doesn't like Mexican soccer. He has had enough of the media coverage around him. And this just comes to prove once again that he cannot wait for the World Cup to be mm. over so he can go back to Argentina and do his thing. And I hated the fact that the Mexican national team Twitter account tried to fool us by posting, hey, all of his assistants are actually at the games. We're not paying all that money to his assistants. We're paying all of that money to Gerardo Martino. That's why he has to be here. And I know some of the pundits and experts like her keep saying, well, with technology, you can really be up to date. We all cover soccer. We all know it's not the same thing to break down a game when you actually are at the stadium than when you're watching on a screen. So it's just a disgrace that he, it's not only that he doesn't care anymore, he doesn't care that we know that he doesn't care. So just comes to prove, and again, my point from a year and a half ago that he wants to leave as soon as he can. Perfect case study right here. Mauricio Pedrosa, the Mexican public, the Mexican pundit. It is everything for them. It may be nothing for Tata Martino because let's face it, it could be nothing if Mexico was coasting through World Cup qualifying. They qualified first if goal scoring wasn't an issue, if the today confidence in the national team wasn't in question. But because it is in question, but because it is an issue, but because they have struggled so much, because they had a horrendous summer where they lost multiple finals, couldn't beat the U.S. or Canada, this is everything. Mm. He has to realize where he is. He has to realize how much of a bad look this is just in general, because this is really a non-issue. I maintain with the platforms you have today to scout, you should already know who you want to take, et cetera. You can pick up the phone, talk to a coach. No big deal. But it's a situation. It's everything surrounding the Mexican national team that makes this look bad. Read the room. Read the room, I think uh, Hercules Gomez once said on this show. I feel, yeah. I feel like this is Tata Martino's in both failure to read the room, and at this point I'm kind of with you, Mal. I don't know that he cares to read the room anymore when it comes to the Mexican yeah. press or really the Mexican public.